so we're going to launch the game. I'm just going to make sure everything looks proper on my screen. Here. Okay. Uh, so this is called Heat Death Survival Train. I'm going to launch it right now. I've never launched it before, so if it crashes, I'm sorry. This will be a big disappointment. Heat Death by Mass Games. Uh, new game. Loading world. Log entry. I woke up in a lab, hooked to my uh, hooked to machines and wires, not knowing who I am and where. The lab was silent and empty. I stumbled out of the building into a frozen wasteland. No life, no warmth, no hope. Just snow and rocks. There's a train track. The only thing that seems to lead somewhere. Could it take me to civilization or at least some answers? I'll follow these train tracks for now. Basic movement. WASD to move and use mouse to look around. Gamepad. Use thumbsticks to move and look around. Oh, perfect. I was just going to say, what are my stats here? Uh, bah, 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 bah. I'm just going to move my face out of the way so you can actually see what's going on here. Okay, so one thing we want to do, we want to cheat in this game. So we're going to open Cheat Engine. This is Cheat Engine. And what Cheat Engine will do is attach to Heat Death. Um, and now we can try to find some values that we can change. Okay, so like, if I go in uh, Material here, 4, and just scan for 4. I'll just cheat the item. Just get, a, just get an easy win. Get a nice easy win here. Scan for 4, drop. Scan for three, drop, scan for two, drop, scan for one, and do unchanged, unchanged value. Okay, we're gonna pick one up. Material, now we have two. All right, let's set this to 99. Boom, 99 material, but now it says my inventory weight is 101. <laughs> what happens when you're 101 inventory? Good to know. Nothing. Oh, can't pick up anymore. That's funny. All right, well, that's how you cheat items. If you did that with energy drinks, you could have infinite energy drinks. Drop, 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 Okay, so there's no punching. He's salvaging metal. Okay. Nope. Can't climb the mountain. Be a lot cooler if you could. Uh, these look like the Silent Princess flowers from Breath of the Wild. Shadow Breeze. I like this Halo thing. That's cool. I wonder what like the actual value for stamina is when you're full. It's probably like 100. Unless it's some random number like 800. Alright, we got 35 million. Every time my stamina does like a little red flash, I'm going to scan it for decreased value. There it goes again. Decreased. 5 million. 1.1 million. 176,000. 24,000. It's going lower. It's going lower. Let's keep it going. 3.2k. Let's go. Getting there. Next scan. 700. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 78. 55. 55. Yeah. Again. Next scan. 54. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That might be it. That's as close as we can get. 55. 53. Okay. This looks like our list of potential values for our stamina. Uh, we're gonna. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do that. I don't know if this pauses the game. Decrease value. Oh, okay. I think this does pause the game. These values are not changing. Oh, it says the game is paused. It does literally says the game is paused. Decrease value. All right, we're down to 16. Okay, now we kind of have to use some common sense. We have to think, what looks like a suitable number that represents our stamina bar here? Um, one of the things that I'm looking at here is this 66.93. Um, it does look like it's at about 66%. So that makes sense. That could be potentially it so we'll just call this um stamina question mark um but all of them seem to be going down because of stamina so this one that says 0 0.6479 it's kind of going in tune with this one that's 6479 all this stamina too you can see these numbers are moving down together at the same rate 6413 yeah so either one of these could be stamina and i don't want to go changing it right away because if i do something wrong the game will crash and i have to start all over 
and that's gonna take me like five to ten minutes to get to here again and that sucks okay we already got this one this is another one that works similarly when we go to change one of these values that we just found it's good to remember the format of the number um, the value type uh, basically if we want to get back to this point we can do a new scan and search for a float. And we know it's gonna be probably, you know, between um, zero and one, because it's this is going between 0 0.6. Uh, so we know it's gonna be a number between zero and one. And alternatively, we know it could also be a double that's between zero and 100. So what we'll do first, is we're going to change the value of this stamina to 90 and just see what happens okay all right we have increased our stamina to 90 um, and one thing that we can do to kind of confirm that this did did work uh, we can look at the other values that we picked up and we can see that they have changed as well. So across multiple addresses, this value has updated. So it is correct. We actually did it. We got the stamina cheat. So knowing that, we're going to do something here. Say we want to keep this cheat for another time. We're going to right click on it and do generate pointer map. And we'll just call it heat death train pointers stamina and save it. And this is going to just generate pointers which is a lot to get into but we won't basically it's kind of like saving our cheat this is kind of an annoying cheat to track down and get but we got it baby so we're gonna save it and then after that i'm gonna go and change the value on these numbers and see what that does just for experimentation purposes this takes a minute always takes a minute it's 1207 it's late I gotta go to bed. It's after midnight. I gotta go to work in the morning. So we can do this the same way for our health bar. Uh, scan for an unknown value, take some damage, scan for a decreased value, take some damage, and then rinse and repeat until we get just a nice little list and go through it. And then we can update it and save it. And same thing for power. Just scan, change it, scan, change it until you find it. Um, all right. Now that our pointer map is made, I'm going to go ahead and change this to... 0.99 you can see when i changed this value it did nothing it just went right back to 84 so we'll change this one to 0.99 click ok and it gets updated by the other one so this is the master address for this value so we can change it to like 10. oh your stamina level is low you'll start losing health when your stamina reaches zero perfect let's do a health cheat right now uh stamina zero okay now we're losing health actually pretty quick <laughs> all right new scan it's probably okay so if we wanted to scan for our health bar we can do the same process of scanning for unknown values but we have one advantage now because we've already found one value we because we've already found one address that is confirmed we can see that it's a double which gives us a hint that the health bar is probably also going to be stored as a double and it may also follow this format of you know being between zero and a hundred but you know we can we can only hope but what we can do is scan for a double unknown value and do for scan and when we set our stamina to zero in this game specifically it's going to start making us lose health. So we're going to set the stamina to zero, start losing health, and then keep scanning for decreased value. So here we go. Scan for decreased value. Scan for decreased value. Scan for decreased value over and over. Okay. We're going to set our stamina back so that we can, um, stop losing health i don't know if you start regenerating health because i don't want to start scanning for any changes if it's changing my health it looks like my health hasn't moved i 
don't know if I can check my health somehow. There's no there's no kind of um log for where all your stats are. Okay. Uh, there has to be like a heal heal option. Okay. Health value unchanged. This is a big risk. Okay, so we have a value here called 34.75. And that looks about the percentage of our health. So just going to go ahead and delete those other staminas. We'll call this one health. And we're going to set it to 100. Just like that. Full health. We have a health cheat. We have stamina cheat. So we're going to right click on health. Generate pointer map. We'll call this Heat, Death, Train, Pointers, Health. This game is so random to me. Um, as in, like, how how I came across it. So, if you want an explanation for what I'm doing here with Pointers, I have a video on YouTube about how to do pointer mapping, pointer scanning. And that video explains what is actually going on here. Um, how we're actually saving our cheat so that we can just reactivate it immediately when we come back into the game next time. So we don't have to keep scanning over and over. This takes forever, every time. Um, so we got health cheat, we got stamina cheat, we got item cheat. Um, the only thing we couldn't get was inventory cheat. Oh, it'd be such a good one to get. Um, I do have to go to bed. So I'm gonna cut it right here. And if you tuned in, thank you. And uh, See you around. I'm going to stream on YouTube tomorrow. I'm just streaming on Twitch right now because I'm just trying out Twitch. But I am going to be streaming on YouTube playing DayZ tomorrow. So um, if you are chill and you're cool and you want to hang out and there's other cool people who come and hang out, you want to be chill and hang out with them too, hit the YouTube streams. Peace. Good night.